If you're watching this in October, that means it's almost Halloween. To fit the spooky mood, let's make a floating ghost in a bottle while learning about buoyancy, Archimedes principle, and some of the properties of gas. For this experiment, you will need a tall cup of water, a clean, squeezable plastic bottle filled with water. You can also use a regular sized plastic water bottle, a plastic straw, paper clips, scissors, and optionally, if you want to make the ghost part, you will need a white plastic bag, a permanent marker, and some string. First, bend your straw in half and cut the longer end so that it is the same length as the shorter end. If you don't have a straw with a bendy neck, you can just cut and bend a regular straw. With a paper clip, clip the two ends of the straw together. Add additional paper clips to act as weight. In order for this experiment to work, make sure that the straw is just barely floating like so. You can test this in a tall cup of water first. If the entire straw is floating, add more paper clips, but not so much that the straw sinks to the bottom. This next step to make the ghost is optional. You can cut out a little circle from a plastic bag and draw on a ghostly face if you'd like. Take the string and secure the bag to the straw. Cut some small slits at the top of the bag so that it doesn't trap air. If you've decided to make it a ghost, you may need to readjust the number of paper clips so that the experiment will work properly. Next, fill your bottle up with water and drop in your ghost. Close the lid. Now squeeze and release your bottle to see what happens. You'll have noticed that when I squeeze the bottle, the little ghost dives to the bottom and when I release, the ghost floats back up. To understand why this happens, let's first learn about some properties of gas and about the force of buoyancy. The particles that make up gases are spread further apart from each other compared to particles in liquids and solids, which are closer to each other. As a result, the particles and gases can move around, bounce into each other and against the container walls. Gases also do not have a fixed volume, whereas solids and liquids do have fixed volumes. Volume is the amount of 3D space that something can take up. Gases have the same volume as the container they are in, and because there is space between the particles, gases can be compressed, which decreases volume. Moving on to buoyancy, it is defined as the upward force exerted by a fluid onto an object. Archimedes' principle is the principle which states that the strength of the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the water which is displaced by the object. Objects that are less dense than water will weigh less than the water that it displaces, which means that the buoyant force is strong enough to keep the object afloat. Conversely, objects that are more dense than water will be heavier than the displaced water, and so the buoyant force is not enough to overcome the downward force of gravity acting on the object. The object then sinks. Taking a closer look at our straw, we can see that there is an air bubble trapped inside. Since air is less dense than water, the buoyant force exerted on the straw is enough to keep it afloat. When we squeeze on the bottle, this decreases the volume of the air inside. In turn, this increases the air pressure, which is the force exerted by the particles on the container walls and the surface of the water. When the air pressure increases, this pressure is exerted on the gas particles that are dissolved in the water as well. This compresses the air bubble in the straw, decreasing its volume. We can see that the air bubble actually gets smaller when we squeeze. At the same time that the air bubble gets smaller, water is entering the straw to take its place. With more water in the straw, this increases the weight of the straw apparatus so that it is now heavier than the weight of the water it displaces, causing it to sink. When I release the bottle, the volume increases, the pressure decreases, and the straw's air bubble expands again, allowing the straw apparatus to be light enough to float. In everyday life, you can observe these pressure-related behaviors of gas when you drink a carbonated beverage. In an unopened bottle, the drink looks still because the pressure inside the bottle keeps the gases dissolved in the liquid. Once you open the lid, this decreases the pressure in the bottle, allowing the dissolved gas bubbles to expand. Since the gas is less dense than the drink, they float up to the top and fizz. We covered a lot in this video. Some of the big concepts that we covered are 1. Decreasing the volume of a gas at a constant temperature will increase the pressure of the gas, even when it's dissolved in liquid. 2. Buoyancy is the upward force exerted by a fluid on an object. 3. Archimedes' principle states that the strength of the upward force is equal to the weight of the water displaced by the object. And 4. Objects of lower density than water will float, while objects of greater density than water will sink. Thanks for watching. Try this experiment out at home and tag Pueblo Science with your results. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more fun science content.